Hi there, it's Chris here with selfmadenewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best laptops for engineering students currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite five, so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm going to skip the fluff and just jump right in. If you want to confirm those recommendations, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is going to go to my personal favorite, and this is the Dell XPS 15 OLED. So if you've ever wanted to feel like James Bond of the engineering world, minus the tux and the shaken, not stirred martini, then the Dell XPS 15 it's essentially the tuxedo of laptops for those sharp-minded students among you. Key features, displays fancier than a black tie event, 15.6 inch OLED touchscreen with 3.5K resolution, uh, a brain that can outsmart most, it's an Intel Core i7, 12700H CPU, graphics firepower with an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, it's not just a pretty face, it, it has got biceps and triceps for your CAD work and gaming marathons. The RAM, a sufficient 16 gig. Storage, a roomy 512 gig SSD. And weighing in at only 4.2 pounds. That's lighter than your average cat or engineering textbook. Take your pick. And let's not forget a sleek body, the chassis, a spacious keyboard for those of us who can't type without hitting three keys at once, and speakers that'll make you feel like you're at a live concert. So who is this for? Um, well, the laptop does have a minor Achilles heel. I mean, seriously, Dell, a 720p webcam was the aim to make everyone look like they're in 2005. Uh, but if you can look past that, this is an engineering student's dream. While it's tempting to max out credit cards for that 3.5K OLED touchscreen, uh, the battery life is a tad short, not quite making the full school day stretch. If you're more about function though, over the fancy screen, perhaps opt for the FHD display instead. It will last you longer on a charge and you can spend the save money on, I don't know, more engineering stuff. So all in all, if you're looking for a mix of style and muscle, this is a solid option. The next one is my recommendation for the best budget option. This is the MSI Cyborg 15. So do you have dreams of living in a cyberpunk future but lack the billionaire bank balance? Well, brace yourselves for a wallet-friendly journey into the matrix with the MSI Cyborg 15, which is the perfect blend of engineering and gaming but without the price tag of a sci-fi blockbuster. Key features, step into the future with its 15.6 inch, 144 hertz FHD. Not the most vivid color palette in town, but hey, who said the future was always bright? The brain power is good, thanks to its Intel Core i7 13620H CPU. The graphics, Nvidia GeForce RTX 4050 GPU. Gaming on a budget has never looked so good. The RAM, solid 16 gigabytes. Storage, a breezy 512 gigabyte. And the weight's coming in at 4.37 pounds. So just a smidge more than the previous option. Uh, but who's counting? Well, I am. I always am. So who's this suited for? Well, it boasts an affordable price. It comes with its quirks. The 720p webcam is, let's say, vintage in quality. And the display could use a bit of a pep. Oh, and if you're gaming, don't be surprised if it feels like you've got a mini toaster on your lap. It does tend to run a bit warm. But it is fantastic for students who want a side of gaming with their engineering coursework. So if you're looking for some gaming fun without parting with a ton of cash, I would definitely consider this one. The next one is my recommendation for the best for power and endurance. This is the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. So imagine a gaming laptop and a marathon runner had a love child. Well, enter the Zephyrus G14, a machine that's as potent as your caffeine-infused late-night study drink, but lasts longer than your average lecture. The display, 14 inches, 1920 by 1080 goodness. It's like watching your favorite movie in HD, except it's your CAD projects. The brainwaves, courtesy of the AMD Ryzen 9 4900 HS CPU, and the graphics wizardry with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU, RAM 16 gig, and the storage a sprawling one terabyte SSD. That's a thousand gigabytes for those wondering if I did the math. I did. The weight, a featherlight 3.5 pounds, so less than your average intro to engineering textbook and infinitely more fun. So this one, a few cons, no webcam, so Zoom meetings or, you know, maybe that's a pro. And the keyboard's backlighting seems to have a mind of its own. Think of it as a quirky pet, unpredictable but a bit lovable. But it does have the endurance of a marathoner. Over 10 hours of battery life when you're being a diligent student, ensuring you won't be that person in class desperately seeking an outlet. Plus, 
The price dances between 1,000 and 2,000. You'll have to check that link. So it doesn't demand the bank of a monarch. The next one is my recommendation for the best OLED equipped option. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. So remember when you used to dream of a laptop that's as dazzling as a starlit night but didn't weigh as much as your pet rock? Well, dreams do come true with the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. It's like Samsung looked at the MacBook Pro, smirked and said, hold my beer. Key features, the display, 16 inch 3K, 2880 by 1800 at 120 hertz a mold. If that doesn't scream crisp, I don't know what does. i7 Intel Core CPU, uh, discrete Nvidia GPU, 16 gig of RAM, storage between 5, 12 gig and a whopping one terabyte. It's like picking a closet size for all your digital shoes, I suppose. And weighing barely 3.9 pounds. The size is compact, 3.9 by 9.8 by 0.6 inches. So slide it in your bag and you're good to go. So addressing the elephant in the room though, some of those Samsung features can feel like the extra set of spoons your grandma insists you need. Nice to have, but a bit superfluous for most. Performance wise, it is a beast. It can juggle everyday tasks, intense video editing and AAA gaming without breaking a sweat. So in summary, if you're an engineering student looking to flaunt some tech muscle as well without the added bulk, then this could be your best option. The next one is my recommendation for the best two-in-one option, and this is the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2. So the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2 isn't just throwing shade at the MacBook Pro. It's got its own solar eclipse going on, really. If you've ever wished your laptop could moonlight as an easel or your tablet had a bit more horsepower, then you're in for a treat. The key features, 14.4 inch 120Hz touchscreen with 2400 by 1600 pixels, Picasso would have ditched his canvas for this. CPU, 13th gen Intel Core i7. Graphics, choose between the Iris XE integrated graphics or a brawny NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050, 4060 GPU. RAM, 16 to 64 gigabytes. Storage, 512 to two terabyte SSD options. And the range, range between 4.18 pounds and 4.37, depending on what GPU you go with. So who's it suited for? Well, you might be disappointed with the battery. It's like promising to run a marathon and giving up at the 5K mark. Then there's the missing stylus. It's like buying a car and realizing the steering wheel is an optional extra. That said, this is Microsoft's flagship for Windows 11, embodying work, play, and creativity, and packing a punch with its 13th gen Intel CPU and options of GPUs. So in essence, if you're an engineering student or just someone who appreciates good tech, desiring a blend of functionality, gaming, and creativity, then you might wanna consider this one, but just know that that stylus doesn't come cheap. All right, so those are my recommendations. Uh, I tried to include some variety there to cater to whatever you're looking for. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below, and if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.